in this tutorial we will learn about blocks how to create blocks with the help of sketch and at the end we will make this animation or motion analysis in solidworks assembly so let's create this solidworks enable the users to convert the 2d sketches into blocks or one unit so that the user can form assemblies and mechanism later we can move and analyze the assembly so blocks is nothing but the group of lines or group of curves which together forms a block block is mainly used to uh, store a particular shape which is repeatedly we used in solidworks so let's learn how to create blocks and how to use those blocks so first you need to learn where is blocks even though you can directly search blocks now see if you click on this eye it will give you location where it is located toolbar blocks now you will see here even in tools you will activate directly blocks insert blocks make blocks edit blocks remove rebuild save and exploded blocks we will learn few features here first right click on any tab customize if you see in tabs at the end you will see new tab click on new tab and this window is will pop up and here choose block now simply say ok now you see in tabs toolbar we will see a block this is a good things to be here now let me first choose one plane sketch now in one sketch you can make multiple number of blocks but we will make different number of blocks in different sketches I will tell you how why straight slot now I am going to draw one slot smart dimension uh, let's say 75 and the radius I'm going to keep 10 millimeter okay angle I'm not going to define but if you want just define this angle forty five okay right click driven if you keep driven it will be changed according to things now select all or okay let me add some more things so that it looks more realistic eight millimeter now let me select these two equal now select all now here go to blocks and click make blocks now this okay now here see a small window pop-up block entities all lines everything selected say ok now if I am going to select one see it is selected whole if it is geometry simple sketch we can separately select all but in this case we can select all even if you move see if I drag any line it will move together because this is one unit one block now simply exit again I am going to front plane sketch again I am going to create one more let me add here sketch dimension let's say 150 double the size radius 10 and this inside one diameter 8 hold shift key and select these two circles and make one relation constraint equal constraint ok now select this all go to blocks make blocks say ok now exit now this is our second sketch second block again I am going to front plane sketch circle activate rectangle and at center I am going to add one circle smart dimension 35 40 and this one let's say 12 again I am going to select this one go to blocks make block 
see here all the lines entities selected inside this block say ok now here we have three blocks exit now what is the advantage to make separate sketch for this separate because we can uh, allocate color different color to this right click on sketch sketch color let's say first one red right click on second sketch sketch color blue third one sketch color green if you make all blocks in one sketch so the color will be one for all now let's save this block one save block so that next time we can directly use this shape for any purpose now the first one is link one now here type of save block look solidworks block sld blk save second right click on second save block or even you can activate save block from here to link to come down select the third one right click save block slider save now all the blocks saved let's down and choose here new assembly ok because we can create animations in that cancel now here we want to export import lay, lay block so simply choose this one create layout now see this window pop up just make normal so just activate normal now here go to block and here insert block now browse blocks now the first one open now place somewhere again browse second one open now place press left mouse to place somewhere or even you can cancel it ok again in select insert browse desktop block slider ok now I place somewhere here ok now for sliding we need one more block we forget to add so what we will do we already in sketch mode so select line draw one line now right click click right click even though you will see here make block even though select this one block make block now see ok now this is also a kind of block now hold shift key select these two points coincide now still look this is moving so click make relation horizontal now let's define few important relation collinear now this is sliding along with this select these two points hold shift key and select the point and you will leave and you will see this option make coincide look now hold shift key select this point and this point make relation coincide similarly select this point and this point hold shift key and make relation now ok exit now look here simply save this option now go to motion now before going to activate just go to solidworks add in and activate solidworks motion now here 
you will see motion analysis it is gives you most realistic and accurate result so always activate this one now if you activate this one the all the options will be activated here like uh, forces uh, spring cam follower now i am going to activate setting property motion frame i'll keep higher so that it will be it gives you smooth now drag this one let's say 12 second apply motor and i'll choose this one now here rotary option first second now look the direction change we will choose motion constant speed and here i am going to select 20 rpm say okay now here you will see one option calculate just click and now it is going to calculate see this is how a simple assembly can makes you a 2d animations just simply play so this is mainly used to recreate a 2d assembly 2d to analyze the particular kind of assembly i hope you like it and you know how to create blocks in solid works don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching